today I'm doing one of those I don't care videos. I um I have been challenged with um my high blood pressure the last week and it made me realize that <clears throat> sometimes you just got to speak your mind. Sometimes you just have to be who you are because life is so short and um life is so fragile. And so first of all, I just want to thank you for being my friends. And I want to thank those of you who love me for loving me because it's not that many people in the world that love you. I mean, I don't know how many Facebook friends I, I have. Maybe maybe I have 20,000 and maybe one or two of you have invited me to, you know, Thanksgiving dinner or, or to out, you know, to Javier's and Century City or whatever, to Quinceanera or a Bar Mitzvah. Maybe one or two of you out of 20,000 have invited me over. But um, those of you that like my pages, those of you who like my posts, those of you who make comments, I want to thank you. Even though I've never met you, I want to thank you. And I want to say that, um, that I love you. You know, life is short and life is fragile. So sometimes you just got to speak your mind. It's like we're in a very interesting environment right now. There's wars around the world. I've never seen so much misinformation in my entire life. Uh, I, I was kind of obsessed at one point with a, with a particular president, particular leader that was running this country. And I was um, probably doing posts about him every single day. And he just, he burned me out. I'm, I refuse to mention his name, but his whole campaign was based on misinformation. And a lot of people, a lot of leaders are taking that and running with it. They're running with, um, with the ability to, to deceive people. And, and I guess, you know, seeing that it works in their benefit and, and, and it, it, it hurts me to see so many people in the world that are being affected by misinformation that are being affected by lies that are being affected by deceit. So that's why, uh, two years ago, I got into, uh, the race, the race of running for leadership. And I ran for city council of Delano. Uh, I didn't win, but I learned a lot. <laughs> and so this year I'm running for auditor controller, uh, no November, 2022. And I need your support. I need you guys to support me with my website, support me with donations, support me with, uh, be part of my team, uh, help get the word out, um, about who I am because, you know, people got to know you. If people don't know you, you can't get votes. Anyways, uh, I got into leadership because I got tired of complaining. You know, every day I was complaining about this particular president and I just got tired of it. You know, it just, it just seems like I was falling into the darkness that he was in, you know, by hating and, and, and by being angry and, I just realized that just because people are bad doesn't mean that you have to allow yourself to get sucked down that rabbit hole. Let me say that again. Just because people are bad doesn't mean that you have to get sucked down that rabbit hole. If, if you have a bad spouse, they're cheating on you, they're, they're doing things that, that to you that are disgusting, things that are hurtful, it doesn't mean that you have to become black like them, that you have to become dark like them, and, and you have to start... Uh, doing things that are evil and mischievous to them. No, keep your light, man. Light and innocence is a gift. Let me repeat that. Life and innocence is a gift. And just because there are people around you that have sold their souls doesn't mean that you have to sell your soul. In the end, we all reap what we sow. And sometimes you look at people and you think, oh, you know, they have money, they have nice cars, they have big homes. You think they're winning. You think they're winning for by making a uh, 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 a ruthless video and, and, and plastering it and, and then getting on a talk show and then they're, they're selling their, you know, they're, they're in the media and their Facebook page and their Instagram page and their TikTok page is blowing up and you think they're winning, but you don't, you know, you reap what you sow. And so if you have um, integrity, if you have morals, if you're an honest person, keep that man. Don't, don't, don't believe the okie doke that you're losing because you're a good person. Because in life, what goes around truly does come around. And you are winning. There's more to life. There's more to wealth than just money. You know, uh, wealth is quality of life. And when you start selling your soul, you start seeing it, man. You start seeing it all over. You see it in your kidneys. You see it in your liver. You see it on your face, man. You see it. You know, you reap what you sow. So 
Stay who you are. Stay true to yourself. <laughs> so anyways, um, I just wanted to encourage someone today. It's like, you know, uh, life is a challenge. I, I got friends that are in war-torn countries right now, and some of them I'm trying to get out of those countries. Um, um, and so, you know, no matter what you're going through, what you're going through is not belittled. You know, if, if whatever you're going through, it's not belittled because in your mind, um, it's a challenge. In your mind, it's a hurdle. But it is relative. You know, uh, the one thing that I've learned in all of my experiences and having traveled so much around the world is I've learned how to put things in perspective because, you know, I used to think that my problems were gigantic, you know, and then I started traveling. I started meeting people. I started meeting people who made a dollar a day. And and these people had more money saved up than I had saved up. A dollar a day, you know, and yet and still uh, they were able to cut back on their expenses and live in such a way that they could actually save bundles and bundles of money. I, I've seen people who have real problems, man. They, 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 they live in countries with corrupt governments. They live in countries with, with no roads, with horrible sewage systems, horrible um, plumbing systems, you know, no, no toilets and no showers. And, um, you know, I, I just, I've experienced a lot in life and I just feel that, that I'm blessed, you know, to be honest with you, I feel like everybody in America is blessed and in a lot of countries in Europe and, and a lot of countries in, around the world, you know, people, um, they have governments or they have, uh, societies that have more checks and balances and societies that, uh, tend to take care of them a little bit better. I'm gonna tell you right now, I can't speak for every country. You know, I've been to some amazing countries that took care of their people, but I can speak for the United States. And if you live in the U S man, you are blessed beyond measure. You are blessed beyond measure. I mean, really nobody in the U S has to, uh, go hungry. I mean, if, if people are going hungry, it, it's simply because they're bound here in their mind. You know, they've lost, they've lost their mind. They just don't have the capacity to make the phone call because there's all kinds of services out there giving away free, free food. You know, uh, homelessness is a little different story. It takes more time to get, to get a home, but there's, man, the labor market is tight in America. There's all kinds of companies out there hiring you know, if you really want something in America, you can achieve it. And, and I'm going to tell you, the easiest way to to defend what I'm saying is just look at uh, foreigners and look at um, immigrants. How, when's the last time you saw an immigrant who was homeless in America? Ain't too many immigrants who are homeless in America, you know. Um, you know, and it's not just because they're going to get deported. It's because they understand that America is a tremendous opportunity and they they use their opportunities here. You know, sometimes, you know, they, they're not sitting in a one bedroom apartment in Westwood or Beverly Hills paying $5,000 a month and barely surviving. You know, they may put four or five families in a house, and, but they're saving that money until they can afford to buy their own house. And you have people here in America that don't even have social security numbers and they're millionaires or they're well-to-do or they own their own homes. And I, I've met them, I've seen them, man. There's millions of them in, in America. They come here and uh, the laws are against them, but, but there's so many opportunities in this country that they're able to take advantage of those opportunities and build the American dream. They're able to build the, the, the life that they've always dreamed of. And so if you're in America, man, know that you're blessed and, and take the time. If, if you're suffering, if you're struggling, Google, man, if, you, if you're depressed, Google uh, services for the depressed. Man, if you're hungry, Google services for the for the hungry you might say well i don't have a computer go to the local library local libraries will allow you to use your computer you might say well i don't have uh, I, I haven't taken a shower in a week go to the go to the beach man they got free showers at the beach <laughs> i mean really if you want to make it in this country you can make it you need to just be committed to whatever you're trying to get be committed and have faith i always like to say if you have faith and if you're committed and if you work hard there is nothing that you can't achieve. There is nothing that you can't achieve. And so, you know, uh, I have faith. I'm committed and I'm going to work hard to, to fighting this high blood pressure that's been plaguing me the last few years. And, um, you know, I have faith. I'm committed. I'm going to work hard. Everything in life 
that I have wanted, God has given to me because I've used the formula of having faith, of being committed, of working hard. And when I don't get something, I, I look and I say, well, uh, let's say I, I want to lose weight. And so I want to lose so much weight in six, six months. And I get to that six month mark and I haven't lost the weight. I don't blame people. You got to stop blaming people for your failures. What I do is I look back on the last six months and I see, well, you know, how much time, Carlton, have you wasted? How much time were you wasting watching movies? How much time were you wasting surfing the Internet? How much time were you wasting? Uh, maybe you went out one night and you had a little bit too much to drink, you know, um, and, and maybe that slowed you down the next day. You know, you know, just looking at my diet, looking at um, uh, where I'm spending my time, wasted time, just looking at um, those types of things and asking myself, was I 100 percent committed? Because usually when you don't get your dreams and your goals, you're not really committed. I mean, I might say I want a, um, a Bentley, or I might say I want a Rolls Royce. And I know if I want a Rolls Royce, I'm going to get it. But at the end of the day, man, you got to be committed, especially if you have lofty goals. If you're trying to say, well, I want a Rolls Royce in three months, and you're making minimum wage, that's a lofty goal. You can do it, but you're going to have to be super, super committed, man. You're going to have to be like pulling up YouTube videos on how to turn your money over every single day. But they're out there. There's videos on how to invest your money. There's videos on how to invest your money in options. There's videos on how to invest your money in, in stocks. There's videos on how to invest your money with an online business, man. There's so much information out there. This is, in my opinion, is the greatest time in life to live. I mean, heck, even civilians are going into space in, in 2021. You don't even have to, like, when I was a kid, you had to be an astronaut. You had to go be an astrophysicist or something. You had to be super, super, super smart to go into space. Now, all you got to do is just be committed. You can even go into space. This is a time, 2021, as we enter this last month and as we go into 2022, we are living in a time where you literally can accomplish anything you want to accomplish. You want to you want to be a homeowner. You want to find love. You know, my advice to you, if you want to find love, don't limit yourself. You know, even America is only 5% of the whole world. I said 5% of the whole world. You know, there's still 95% of the world out there. And not everybody is the same. You know, if you live in a certain community where people are shallow or superficial or, you know, they're this or they're that. Or, you know, the guys are trying to have 10 girlfriends and the girls are trying to have 10 boyfriends. If you live in that kind of atmosphere, don't think that's the whole entire world. Man, there are people in places who who believe the way you do. You know, they um, you know, they believe in commitment. They 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 believe in um a monogamous relationship. They believe in loyalty. Man, there is loyal people out there. Yeah, there's bad people. Man, everywhere, every country I've been to, uh people have tried to rob me. Every single country, but 90% of the people were great. And, you know, you had that 10% element, the 10% element. Yeah, they're going to try to rob you. They're going to try to, you know, maybe they're corrupt cops or something. Yes, yeah, I've seen that lots of different countries, but I don't use that and judge the rest of the people because most most people have good hearts. OK, so whatever it is you, you're trying to accomplish, uh, you want to be you want to find love. You want to start your own business. Um, you want to lose weight. You know, three things, man, whatever your dreams are, three things. Number one, have faith. And when you have speak, when you have faith, speak it. Use the power of the spoken word, which is the most powerful force in the universe. Speak it. Say, you know, uh, well, I'll tell you what I do, you know, because I'm I'm a Christian. I, I say, I say by faith in Jesus' name, I'm gonna lose 40 pounds. No, I, I take it even further. I say by faith in Jesus' name, I'm losing 40 pounds. Okay. And so I I put it into an active form. I don't want to say I'm gonna, I say I'm doing it, you know. And so, but you don't have to believe in, 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 in Christ to have faith. I mean, I have faith in Christ, but you can have faith, you know, and speak it into the universe and say, you know, by faith, I am going to lose weight. That means you believe. Now, I just, for me, there's power in the name of Jesus. So I put that power behind my words, you know, but you got to do it. You got to do what you got to do. But I'm telling you, this works um, either way, man, because the laws of God, reign on the on the just and the unjust. If you obey the laws of God, man, you could be an atheist and you're still going to benefit from his laws because his laws are universal. You know, every law in the universe is the law of God. So if there's a certain angle, certain velocity, certain certain uh, speed that you're that you have to enter the Earth's atmosphere, 
if you don't follow that law, that's God's law. Your ship is going to burn up. You know, that law applies to everyone and the laws of God apply to everyone. So, so number one, have faith, speak your, speak your dream, speak your goal into the universe. You know, by faith, I am going to start my own business. By faith, my business is going to be generating $300,000 in revenue by the end of 2022. By faith, I'm going to lose 22 pounds. By faith, I am meeting the man or woman of my dreams. Okay. And then the second thing is be committed. So that means faith without works is dead. If you're not committed to your dreams, they're not going to happen. Get on YouTube and start YouTubing how to have a business that generates $300,000 a year, how to find love and uh, <laughs> in life or whatever it is that you're trying to do. There's so many people teaching you and showing you how to do it. Be committed, be committed. Maybe it means going back to school. Maybe it means having a mentor in your life, having someone that you can be accountable to, but be committed. Num number three, work hard, man. You got to work hard, you know? So look at how much time you're wasting. How much time are you spending watching movies? How much time are you spending on social media? If social media making you money, it's a time waster. If watching a football game, and there's nothing wrong watching a football game or basketball game, but I'm just saying, sometimes it's overkill. You know, and if you, and, and I'm just going to say it, man, if you watch the football games, basketball games, those guys are getting paid, but you ain't getting paid. You know what I'm saying? If you're, if you're always watching, binging on shows, and hey, we all do it. But at the end of the day, you got to you got to work hard, man. You got working hard. It's not just working hard, but it's it's putting in that time. You got to put in that time, man. If you want to see results, you got to put in that time. So, again, have faith, speak your goals into the universe and and be committed and work hard. 2021. Forget about 2022. We have a whole entire 20 eight days left of 2021. So I want to wish all of you a, a amazing December. I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas. And I want to say that, um, you know, be encouraged because life ain't over. As long as you're in the land of the breathing, you still have hope and you still have the ability to reach your dreams. This is Carlton Lennon, your local financial guru. This is a lengthy video, but I hope I've been able to encourage and help someone today. God bless you.